It is a great honor for LAU and AUB to have among us three very talented and well-recognized performers. Combining poetry and music, they will take us on a voyage reflecting on the Arab American experience and exploring themes related to identity, tolerance, coexistence, and Arab influences across the Strait of Gibraltar and into Spain. At times, they will amuse us with familiar sounds of traditional Arabic music, and at other times, they will carry us with their Arabesque repertoires to a world that transcends, transcends East and West. Good evening, everyone. Uh, tonight, we're going to present A Heart in the Sea. And it's an evening uh, dedicated to the Mediterranean cities that we love so much of Palestine and Lebanon. Um, and this is to my father this evening, who is from both places. Chariots. There are men who die with the wrong name. Others who invent, forget, or doubt their names. I know every syllable of my name in Arabic. Every word is a direction. Here, the old port of Jaffa is here. The sunlight poised on our memories here. The old stone houses with our tiles, 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 evidence of homes buried in every name here. The years we never defined here. The echoes we collected in each other here the shivering breeze against our skin, the dark paradise under our eyes here. But you were not here, and I was not here, they say. But we were here. We are here. We are here. in Akka. I arrived to your old port without poems or echoes, without a record, but I record. 67 years of ruined autumns and every summer you grow farther in time. I record, we built these ruins, these stone houses, the gardens of each home. I record, Um Khaled, they want to demolish her house but our phantoms will never leave. The ruins will disturb them. I record, the storefronts are emptier, the shababs are left with little to do. Besides the drugs they are given, the crime they are forced to resort to, so you tell me that they're dangerous. But their grandfathers will return inside of them. I record, not for sale. We will not move or surrender, Perhaps no one cares what we say, but the sea, the sea, the sea has memorized us. I record, I haven't seen your children grow up. I wasn't given that choice. I grew up in the confines of other places. None can be co compared, but I've missed you and didn't even know it. Forgive me, I record. We are together, even if we don't know it, and this city is a city beyond our uncertain freedom. And those who betray us, those who try to free us, those who pity us, those who love us, those who guilt us, tell them, look at the moonlight against the sepia stones. No army can destroy that kind of love. I record, I see you in 2014, and I'll see you every day in every dream. Akka, I apologize for not writing sooner. Apologize for not singing the songs the sea composed for us, the eternity it rehearsed for us. 
And even if cemeteries multiply, remember that, like Jerusalem, even if this city is broken, a survivor will stand in every one of us, everywhere in exile, and be the city. Haifa Blues. I've known you most of my life, but my voice couldn't reach you. And here we are together again, neither of us moving. Your breath on my back, the sun darkening the room we sleep in, the blue wrapping us together as if it's our last chance to be together. Perhaps the human noise we make will save us. Perhaps time is against us and there is too much to feel. Perhaps I don't have enough of the Arabic language to say, with you, I never see an end. I would like to believe this love doesn't lessen our chance to be the city together. After all, the key to the sea is in the heart. But I don't think we realize love is no slight thing. Quds. Every street is still. A stone white sky, I pay respect to those who aren't allowed to enter as I enter Al Aqsa, as I pray. I look at the spiral colors in God's ceiling, think of all I love, who I love, and his voice breaking, his Arabic aching wounds me. Liturgy. The hay field opens and we praise the gold light covering the white hills in the late afternoons. Praise the sea draping our bodies with salt. Praise the cats in every alley in every holy city. Praise the black doors that keep the invaders far. Praise we hide our truth in the basuni. We hide our cry. Praise the wind between our fingers, the lemon trees with a dream. Plays, praise, plays, praise, plays, praise the old days and the older days in our embroideries. Praise the notebooks of testimonies, the sorrowful hymns, the tribes that revive echoes. Praise the stardust on the chair, the chair in the hush, the hush in the heart. Praise the evening, I told you Jerusalem is the other side of Bethlehem. I meant the evening, no wall existed between us. The Gaza Box. Once in a tiny strip, dark holes swallowed hearts. And one child told another, withdraw your breath whenever the night wind is no longer a land of dreams. I died before I lived. I lived once in a grave. Now I'm told it's not big enough to hold all my deaths. Tiny feet, a mother looks at another, a sea of small bodies burnt or decapitated around them, and asks, how do we mourn this? 
This is a poem dedicated to Mahmoud Darwish, um, who I met in my early 20s. Um, and I actually met him uh, in Paris, where we were both living at the time. Uh, and this is a poem I wrote after he passed away in 2008. Une fois Paris. At the door, you greet me. I look at the shadows that might have followed us, look for the wall behind us, in front of us. We sit at Anquez between us. It's midnight or it's late. It's morning or it's day. Silence has torn our voices. Paris is cold. The dark begins early, Place des Etats-Unis. Trees losing leaves, a bird with wings growing in our hand, a desire, the echo of a gunshot, a river, the bullet that crossed Cervantes, you say. I remember, I respond. We left him in yesterday's dream. Can we go back or has the prison come to us? Who are we if the earth is trapped in an unsigned painting? Where are your eyes, passion, palm, breath? Only Paris allows us to believe in our metaphors. We envy those who walk past by us. They sleep in their beds as we look for hours. Home is farther than us. Orange blossom, olives and coffee. I fall to catch you, you help me to your fall. One cigarette at a time. You say, they always find us, one village at a time. They say, it's our house now, but here's a dream, even if you don't deserve one. You say, listen to Beethoven, and I follow your eyes to understand the shadows in the crowd. A homeland, an absent mother. Did they forget we can love? Ave Maria is playing. You give me a poem about a girl you loved. The window filled with evening, with wound. Wound echoes, echoes filled with cry. I move closer to you. I wish I could sleep in the place that sleeps deep in your soul. Wish I held your mother's hand, my father's hand. I wish I saw Carmel from your eyes. The girl you kissed, 60, 60 winters, summers, raindrops piling in our prayers, in the footsteps we are forbidden to have. The birds are coming today. You tell me. The land smaller than the land, smaller, still smaller than our movements. I call your name and you answer death. You have beaten death at its game. The freedom that took you takes you and I find the echoes of our faded map. We never say farewell, never cross, just cross. We meet death so it doesn't meet us. We close the door, think of the groves, the verses we will write, the letters we will not send. Inshallah, you say, a bientôt. Inshallah, I say, yes. The land speaks Arabic. Heart song. Only they saw the waves. Only they saw the wind as the houses collapsed. Only they dreamt of dreams. There were no birds. There were no trees. No hands to cover their eyes. No rain to record their footsteps. Only they saw their photos fading in the walls. Only they saw their stories hidden in the sounds of strangers. Only they. They stayed to tell us they were never gone. They lay in their shadows guarding our origin. 
their heart and every note of every song. They stayed to tell us there will always be a heart in the sea with our name. This poem is entitled Talhamiye, and for those of you who don't speak Arabic, it means Bethlehemite. I heard I'm an Armenian who believes that stars are the pieces of lightning history left to space. I heard I have Roman blood and my brother is Turkish and Greek. I heard my heart is by the Mosque of Omar, by the Nativity Church, beside a talisman and an old man without teeth or keys. I heard my poems turned into stones with Aramaic letters. I heard that here, invaders push natives aside, natives hand their names to trees, and trees rehearse the verses freedom left. I heard I was a house made of Mediterranean light, except I only heard this in springtime, and spring might not exist here anymore. They took all of our trees. Perhaps Jesus can explain what happened, or perhaps all I need to remember is that I heard, but that I know. I'm an Arab. The seven quarters of the old city has left me seven keys so I can always enter.
The great Spanish poet Lorca uh, came to Manhattan in uh, the 19, 1929. And of course, he wrote uh, Poet in Nueva York, Poet in New York, which is one of the most important books about New York. And 80 years after Lorca's voyage uh, to the United States, I decided to go to Spain to write Poeta in Andalusia, Poet in Andalusia, because I wanted to recre not only recreate his journey, but I really wanted to go to Andalusia, which has always been a place where racial, ethnic, and religious forces converged and contend. So when you come from a place like Palestine and Lebanon, uh, you go searching for some kind of answer. Uh, I'm not sure I, I really found uh, a solution for, for, for peace or coexistence, but uh, Lorca said something that I like uh, very much. Uh, he, he said, lo que más me importa es vivir. What matters most is to live. And I think what people want is, is to live. And I, I think that's, that's where we can find this peace. So I'll start with a poem um, from the book entitled Courtyard of Colgueta del Salvador. And in this, um, I don't know if any of you have been to, Andalus eh, to Granada and seen the Alhambra, but it's really one of the most extraordinary things to see. And, and really, it's, it's, a, it's, it's the most impressive poem in the world. Uh, so, and there, there are quite a lot of um, uh, a big Moroccan, uh, there is a lot of Moroccans in Spain. So this is about uh, going somewhere else, but never forgetting where you're from. We are strange when we're lost, his father told him. Saeed didn't hear the rest. He couldn't find the waves that led him across the Strait of Gibraltar. So he tore his memory left where he came from behind and learned to pray differently. He knelt instead of bowed. He counted stones, drew church columns, spoke any language but his own. Years later, sitting in a courtyard, he is startled by the loudness of the wind, almost like the start of Dadan. He feels a small fire along his heart and hears his father's voice. We are nothing but an image growing from our sleep. How do we explain our journey to others? He looks at the grounds of the courtyard where a mosque once stood and understands what his father hadn't. What's sacred always returns. Convivencia. 800 years of love. We can't be strangers now. We are here to allow the other to be here. There's a sea beyond the sea. But who's watching when we make love? If your heart is not mine, the kiss you placed on my neck is mine. The word you drew on the palm of my hand is mine. Your touch. The afternoon on the banks is mine. The continent you place by the chariot is mine. But what about this paradise? Who is it for? We knew we were both in it. We also knew we can't lose a paradise we've seen. <coughs> While waiting for death. When I die, a map of the world will hang over my bed. The small library in Mijas, where I read Lorca for the first time, will become a cafe. The olive trees I cannot live without will be in full blossom. I will see death from a distance waiting for me, but I will not move. I will die on a train where the view will be of white trees suspended on gray clouds. 
I will die in the sky where birds will carry a stream of light on their wings. I will die in a car where the windows will be a quilt of snow. I will die moving. As I wait, my lover will say, you're beautiful. He will mean I miss the sea. I will say, I don't know the word for life, but I know we must play so that it's not only about death. He will ask, why do we grow stillness? Is it a noise we are close to, where the stones and the flies and the trees and the birds and the echo and the earth and what hides insist on music? A song will sweep by us. I will look at him. He too will be waiting, but I'm not certain for what exactly. Then I will think solitude knows it's where the empty space is, and death knows it shouldn't count while it waits. In Arabic, um, the kitas are uh, fragments, it means fragments, and it's uh, a short poem from the Arabic tradition uh, that grew, up, grew, grew out of a longer poem. And in the Spanish language, um, some say there's between five to 30% of the Spanish language that derives from Arabic. So, uh, Here are a sample of some kitas on the journey in Andalusia. Asitara. Can the sky recover after a bombing? Can a hot house break into two cities and secrets hold the wall between two bodies? Tell me, what are borders? A haraka, every loop a memory, a field of lavender mist, an ebony door, an attic of white marbles, wearing identical shoes. Suddenly, a house comes back. Zaga, don't be distracted by the young man you once were. Look, something is moving in the opposite direction. Adwar, if shadows crowd only one side of the road, they say the street is broken and death can't cross a broken street. Adafina, he said, a heart that contains ash contains only ash. Ahoria, when we hesitate, salt rises from the water. Noria, it's better to drown than to miss water. Confessions can't handle thirst. Alafia, the doors shut now. The ghosts sit upright. I'd like to thank you all again for coming. Um, I'm going to uh, end with a poem dedicated to my father's mother, my grandmother, who was proud and fiercely Lebanese. Uh, and I know she'd be really happy if uh, she were here today and uh, know that I am in this space. So thank you. Once I carried a rose to Tripoli and the port turned into the chorus of your voice. 
With the ecstasy of a horse prepared for any journey, I carried you. With the suitcases filled of clouds, I carried you. With the butterflies made of coral light, I carried you. I carried you to every balcony in the Mediterranean. Your green eyes, guitars in the valley, your bliss unafraid of the mountains and the coast of any dare or strain. You kiss my hand and I yours. We drink coffee, eat sweets from here. There, I made windows in the sea to keep you in all the directions of my heart. Here, I know I come from you. Trablos, Mamluk city of mine. You are an Eastern charm, modern and medieval. You are the North's icon. You are three cities in one. I wrap you around me. By the clock tower, a verse to laughter. By the Abu Ali River, an ancient compass. By the fortress, a string quartet. In every Khan, a sign, arc, after arc, you tell me the story of your father, like my father tells of how he thinks of you each time he speaks to me. Le Liban dans le coin de ma voix. Between the sea turtles and all the birds of rapture, I finally understand what you meant. Life is nothing but a long blink. The palm trees circle us. You wear your Cleopatra-like gold necklace, a cigarette in between your fingers, nails painted cerise red, the small boats on the dock, the moon, the white stones. Hurry back to our picture together. Hurry back. I'll return to you, blue sea. Once I carried a rose to Tripoli and waited for you to carry me everywhere in the city, you who are the city. <laughs>